Hello, and welcome back to Dreamforce 2024 from beautiful San Francisco here in the NYSE's office, really diving deep into AI and how to make it productive. I, I think a big thing and theme around Dreamforce this week is going to be about how do you get more out of your data and how do you make it actionable with AI. And I, I think I couldn't think of another guest that would be better to have on here than Sanjay Gidwani, who's the COO of Compato, and I almost screwed it up, but you know, you can get into what it, that means in a Absolutely. little bit, but here, because you guys are doing some really interesting stuff with agents and with DevOps and with Salesforce, kind of help people who are watching understand who Compato is. Well, Rob, well, thanks for having us here. We really appreciate um, being able to talk about talk about this stuff on the on the cusp of Dreamforce. It's such an exciting event here in San Francisco, so it's great to be here. Um, so Capato, Capato, we've been around for about 13 years. We started in Madrid, uh, Spain, and about two developers who really just wanted to go surfing, right? They just wanted to hang out, and there had to be a better way to do Salesforce deployments and DevOps. Over the years, our, our company has grown. Um, we are now, um, from those two people, we are now a global company with um, close to 500 um, em employees. So it's been tremendous growth. We've got some great customers that leverage Capato to perform their Salesforce DevOps, to do deployments, and just manage the whole software release cycle. Yeah, because I, I think, again, any of us who've been on that side of the fence and had to develop know that, again, the, the strains of always being on call, the, the not only just building the software, but you know, it's build and maintain and operate the software. And you guys had some really interesting announcements in this space yeah, as well. Yeah, we're super excited to talk about some of the announcements that we have um, you know, this week and, and last week, um, is we've just launched our Capato AI platform. And so with the Capato AI platform, we're launching um, agents that allow you to participate in the entire development cycle. So we've got a plan agent, a build agent, a test agent, a release agent, and an operate agent. And these five agents are your super agents. They work together with you and your team to help go faster. So take the plan agent, for example. The plan agent's gonna help you in planning. So what, what you're able to do is you can take like a call transcript where you're having a conversation about you know, what are we gonna go build? What are the features that we need to, uh, we need to go um, implement? And it can take that and it can part work with you in order to build uh, the right user stories. From there, our, um, our build agent can take over and start to generate the code. Next, the test agent. We all don't like writing test scripts, right? Like, I don't know if, if, I don't know if you've been doing uh, never, development. Never, yeah, hated Not that. good, right? Um, but now that the, the test agent is there to help you generate the, the test scripts to make sure you're, 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 you have your regression, you have your, your tests ready to go, um, then you, you release that to production with our release agent. It can help you get prepared. What change management activities do you need to do to make sure that the user base is prepared? And then finally, the operate, um, operate agent, as you're up and running, and can help you manage your ongoing on a cycle. So if we take a step back with the Capato AI platform, the way that we look at it is AI powered, people focused, right? Because our, our whole mission of the company has been getting you home for um, out of release days, getting you home for dinner, right? That's that's what what, it, what we're we're all about. And having the ability to st be even more productive, focus on the focus on the people and the human potential and allowing people to solve uh, the bigger problems and not have to worry about writing those test classes, we can leverage AI to do that. Yeah, no, I, I think that makes a lot of sense about what people are trying to be with, be more pro, I guess you could say productive with their AI and get the return on AI. So I think a big piece of doing that is doing it faster and having it more accurate. So what you're saying is, again, you can build, I mean, being a product guy, yeah. you know, we've talked about it, invested by some of the same uh, investors that are in you. Congratulations, some really great investors, yeah. by the way. And I, I look at it and say that you want to get through and get to actually building faster. I think, like you said, building those user stories up front is huge for that. And it, it helps just be more productive. Well, why do we build software, Rob? We build software to enable business value, right? To enable organizations to sell better, sell more effectively, market better, market more effectively, support their customers more effectively. And you need software in order to, in order to do that. When software sits in, in a sandbox or a non-production environment, are they getting the value on that investment? 
No. So if you're looking at it from, from that standpoint, we're here to accelerate that business value. And it, while at the same time, helping the people that do that um, have a better quality of life. And, and I, I look at it and you're helping people get a higher ROI out of their Salesforce investment as well, because you were part of the agent force oh, launch yeah. as well, that, right? Yeah, that's another thing that we're yeah. super excited about. Um, last week, um, you know, Salesforce announced their new um, agent force platform. And we're lucky to be one of the, the first partners to be a part of that um, um, amazing announcement. Salesforce is doing some great things around um, AI. They've got a, a great approach with the trust layer um, and, and all those other components. Now, with the agent force platform, allowing ISV and other software vendors participate in that, is that that next step forward in, in building effectively on the Salesforce platform. Yeah, it would seem that they're really leaning into their ecosystem, which for all of your customers has to be, your joint customers, has to be a, a you know breath of fresh air because not every, uh, I guess you could say, cloud vendor does that. Yeah, I think Salesforce has taken a, a very much better together approach. Um, we're in those customers helping them, they're in those customers. And again, at the end of the day, by working together, we help deliver the value that that was was promised. Um, you know, when 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 a customer signs up with with the cloud platforms. So so talk to people about you know the name and uh, you had a, you had a funny story about oh, yeah. our our friends at uh, at a uh, SoftBank there that was I, I thought just really nailed the essence of when I've run dev teams and when I've been with dev teams and you start to look at it, it's time is so valuable. Time is so valuable, right? And and like we talked about getting the, the code out in, into production is valuable, but that also takes a toll on the team. So when we're talking to investors, to what makes it really easy to understand Capato is like less divorces, right? You're able to get home in time for dinner. You're able to support your family. Hey, that's why we do all this stuff, right? Is to be there for our family. And that's that's the business that Capato's in is, is be his people. Yeah, I, lo I, I love that because I think you start to look around and, you know, Salesforce has been around for a while. A lot of people would see sit there and organizations look at it. And, oh, now I have to get a Salesforce developer and I have to have product, you know, product management around this. Maybe I don't have product management because they sit in the sales team, but I need them uh, for the marketing cloud stuff. It would seem that this helps bridge the gap and kind of fill in for organizations that don't want to have a full on product team around Salesforce per se. Um, yes, it, it definitely it definitely does. But a lot of times, where um, some of these um, organizations fall down is the best practices and the and the center um, the centers of excellence that need to be established, right? So um, having Capato and our and our AI platform allows you to have all those best best practices. What's really cool about what we're what we're doing is we're API first, right? So we have an API um, out of the box with our launch, so we're able to connect to Slack, for example. So if, you're, if your organization and your teams work in, work, works in Slack, you can go ahead and use our Capato um, AI agents right there in Slack and it, as if they're one of your team members. It's really kind of an interesting thing. When I started playing around with it, our, our Slack integration, it really felt as if I've got this other uh, uh, team member there with me. Yeah, and I, I would think that customers are looking at this and CIOs, CFOs, executives are looking at it going, what's the time to value? And, and this has to help shorten that time to value, especially like you said, hey, I want to build an agent to help, you know, maybe it's with uh, end of month processing of uh, POs inside of Salesforce, inside of the CRM side, or it's, hey, I want to do a new campaign and I have a campaign agent in Marketing Cloud. Is that what you're really aimed at, is helping people with these different tasks to build that out? Right now, we're really focused on the development side of it, right? That's, that's our core competency. That's, that's what we do, is helping um, software developers. However, like I said, our, it's truly a platform. Um, our vision is to be able to create these custom agents that allow you to do some of those types of things, load the data with, right. respect, with respect to that. Right. So it is a platform. You can do some of those things. But where our focus is right now is really helping solve the the, the, um, the DevOps um, problems. Yeah. So they're going to go build those agents yeah, based go, on what yeah. they know of their company and how they close the end of the month, how they do a marketing campaign Correct. and things like that. Correct. It would it would seem that you also I, I noticed in uh, one of your releases that you're also here with Accenture and doing some stuff with the GSIs. And it would seem that this would be a great platform for them because they're engaged with these 
these companies building a lot of software as well. Yeah, exactly. Accenture is a fantastic partner of ours. We love working with um, um, Accenture. Um, and they um, they um, are looking at how they can reduce the time it takes. Again, for the, we're in the same business, helping deliver that value uh, to the customer. Yeah, and I, I think when people look at this, what, what's kind of the first question that they have about Capato when they say, okay, this, this sounds too good to be true, that you're going to help me through all of these different pieces? What, what's, the, what's the answer to that? You know, the answer to that really, um, it, it's really about ensuring that, th- that when, we, when we talk to our customers, their organizations um, have the right best practices, right? Because we're in the business of taking disorganization and chaos and making it organized. Right. So having the ability to be able to give them a pipeline, having the ability to give them um, um, the option to commit code, take that user story all the way to production, um, include the testing cycles into it. Right. All of these things that have been, you know, in my experience, um, build your own or roll your own. Being able to have that in one platform is really what, you know, the, the first conversations we have with one customer. Yeah, you help take them through the different development areas from their sandbox to their pre-prod to their production. And Yeah, in, in my experience, you know, um, you know, I started um, in the Salesforce ecosystem in around 2000, 2008, so that's 16 years ago, right? And we were, we were spending a lot of time rolling rolling our own right so if i if i'm a, if i'm a customer i'm like wait they have to build all this tooling uh, it, you don't have to build all the tooling now right um and so that that's really where we, we help accelerate that delivery who what art size organizations are you guys working with from the you know big small medium we, yeah we work with with everybody like some of our customers have like 400 salesforce developers or admins um really large teams that are they're building on the salesforce on platform to smaller teams you know they might be you know five or or, or six people so we we run the gamut um through um all the all the types of organizations and if you're a really small organization we have it what we call capato essentials right you got one two developers and we've got an option that so it doesn't matter where you are um um, in your Salesforce um, journey or, or size of your organizations, Capato um, it can help you. How, how, do they, how do they engage with Capato? How do, how do they come find out more about you besides being on the floor here? Yeah, well, one of the great places is our, we just relaunched our, our website, so check out capato.com. Um, so that's a great place to get started. Another place um, is our Capato community. We have close to 100,000 members in our Capato community um, that they share information, they help each other, um, we post contests, there's job boards, um, and, all, and all of those things. That's another way to get started. You can put up, a, get a trial instance or a playground of Capato to get going. It's another great place at success.capato.com. Oh, great. And is that like a Slack channel type thing, uh, or is it just more a community? It's a community. Guess, yeah. to go a, a website. So Awesome. Well, yeah. I, I think, again, it's when you start to look at it, people like, especially devs, like to learn from each other understand the best practices how how does that also help you probably i would assume helps you build back into the product as well and get feedback and understand where you make it better yeah i know and, and i i love that because we love our customers and we love interacting with our customers uh, we just hosted two um customer advisory boards um so that's another an, another piece we've got an idea a board uh, in our community so customers can can um submit uh you know, questions or they can submit ideas for, you know, product product development. And I just love going to the floor um, and, and talking to people. Yeah, what, what, so, you know, final thing here, what, what are you excited about to see this week? Because we're definitely going to be hearing about AI like the entire week. We're going to have MK on talking about Agent Force more. Oh, that's awesome. So what else do you have? Yeah, what, what I'm really excited about is one, obviously the, the AI, I think we're, you know, it's been the last couple of years building, building, building. I really believe this conference is going to be one where we're going to see a lot of really, really cool stuff. And I think the other piece to it is just connecting with people, getting back together. You know, th- this world um, right now is everything's remote, right? We're on Zoom calls and Slack calls. So when you have the opportunity to get in, in person with everybody and just, you know, um, be able to share ideas is, is the other piece that I'm really excited about to be here at Dreamforce. Yeah, I think that, I mean, this is a massive community. There's so many different developers who are here. Very rich, target-rich environment for you. That's, yes, that's for it sure. Definitely is. But, hey, Sanjay, thanks for coming on board. This has been great. I, you know, it's been great learning about what you guys are up to and how you see this going forward. 
Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having us. This is uh, really cool. Hopefully we can do it again. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you for watching this episode from Dreamforce 2024, live from San Francisco. We're in the NYSC. Stay tuned. We got way more coming for you. Be right back.